Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. started so we can go off to go do something that I used to do when I was small um, so should be a fun interesting story for you guys but let's get this day started <laughs> These door cards looking thing kind of is giving me an idea for the TC to kind of do like a door card type thing with carbon fiber. So I like this. I mean, you don't really have a place to rest, but race car. I mean, race car. So we finally got this electronic or gas powered machine to work. We've never used a gas powered machine. We've always used like chalk, like you would get the chalk and like a freaking can and you would just go like move it like that all the way down the line. But I guess this is like environmental friendly so they told us to use this which was the first time trying to figure out what to do they didn't even give us instructions or anything like that so hopefully I mean hopefully it looks pretty good down the line but so far I guess it's working out so the people that told us to come paint here the soccer field they said that they had already painted it and they said they painted it a year ago and you, I mean you can barely tell the lines are there but you really have to look close to it so it's kind of hard to do it um so we're trying our best to do it if, i mean the ones over there that we have to do because we have to do four fields today the ones over there we have to do we actually have to measure them out because you can't see any lines at all we're lucky that right here we can see a little bit man i am so tired we're just getting done Right now, this is the third field that we've done. I'm gonna turn down the. This is the third field that we've done. The first one was pretty easy to do because we just they already had some of the lines, so you could still they were a little bit visible. So we went through it like pretty quick. But the last two, we had to do a lot of measurements and stuff like that. And right now, it is currently we, we're just finishing the third one. We still need to do one more, but we're not gonna do that one until next week. It is currently 125. Look at that. 125 almost 130 and we're barely getting done um we started i woke up at 5 30 and I'm pretty tired so just go back to my car and back to my uncle's house i'm about to head home i'm freaking tired i'm dehydrated i'm gonna go buy some water right now and i'm gonna go get something to eat because i haven't ate anything yet but it's crazy to to even think you know like every single year like i do help my uncle uh paint a couple fields Sometimes I don't really want to but I end up helping anyways um, I remember growing up as a kid in high school when I first got my license or whenever I, I was able to drive I would that's kind of like how I would get my money um, I did have the support of my parents as well, which I'm truly thankful for that But I also got money by helping my uncle paint them fields uh, soccer fields and refing uh, little kids um, Play soccer under well, I think it was like under six or under eight. It's a difficult thing to to do especially in the summer it is super hot outside the sun is like right in your face and whatnot I should have wore a long sleeve even though I would be a lot more hot but I would be a lot more protected from the sun sunblock freaking I should have wore my freaking sombrero and I would have been protected a lot more but just for some information that's kind of what I would do when I was small um, when I first when I was able to drive around in my car not I didn't have this car at the moment I had a different car and I would help my uncle paint some fields and 
do whatever I could do to make some money, you know. So I was able to afford some stuff, you know. Um, afford some stuff that I wanted. Because, I mean, I know, like, my parents would support me as well. But, I mean, they wouldn't, they wouldn't buy me everything. I had to work for some of the stuff myself as well. So I'm on my way home. I'm tired. I'm delirious. It's time to go home. So, actually, I forgot I to stop by Toyota and pick up the parts for my trunk. So we can finally install the, the struts. I think only one thing that I really hate about having a carbon fiber trunk is the amount of dirt or how easy it is for it to get dirty. I mean, this is a week's worth of, I mean, it rained a little bit, which is why it kind of made it a little bit more worse. But I mean, there's water spots, there's dirt, grime. I mean, even if you have a black car, it's hard to maintain it. So having a carbon fiber trunk is pretty hard trying to maintain the trunk. Um, so I'm gonna clean it real quick right now. I'm gonna be installing the struts because I finally got the stuff and I went to go pick it up today, as you guys saw. And we're gonna finally be putting the struts on the car and get the trunk properly working again. <laughs> I think the wing is starting to dull down a little bit. It's gonna need a polish pretty soon. Also, right here, the clear coat started coming off the Kaminari rear spoiler. Um, so we gotta get that taken care of as well. I'm thinking maybe I'll get it all sanded back down. Once we get the whole car painted, I plan on sanding all the carbon fiber that I have and getting it clear coated again. But it doesn't hurt to try and maintain it by getting it sealed up, getting it polished and looking and trying to preserve it as much as I can until I get the car painted, until I get this all sanded. I think this part right here as well, some clear coat is starting to come off right here. It's starting to yellow this piece first. It's starting to yellow then the whole thing, then the whole entire thing. And this piece is from Save on Carbon, which is pretty weird. This one is from Save on Carbon too, and it's been lasting pretty good. I'm pretty sure maybe they used a better, or the clear coat is a lot better on this one, than the, on the trunk, than on this garnish piece. So we're gonna put the side pieces first onto uh, the trunk. This is what they look like. Pretty sure a lot of you guys are familiar with them. Cause I mean, they run on mostly every car. So you should be familiar with them. So I don't think there's a specific side that's supposed to go on. So we're just gonna give it a shot on one side and let's hope, hope it works. So that should work. Hopefully the trunk is now operational again. We'll find out, I guess. When it's staying up, I don't trust it just yet. But. So, perfectly closes. Oh yeah, super easy. Comes down still. Stops right there. I think around this, this area right here will still go down, but starting here, it'll stay up. Perfect. Finally, we finally got it done, guys. So now that I finally got the struts installed, we no longer need this piece of wood. Piece of wood, goodbye. Also, this trunk feels so light now, picking it up. It feels so light now it feels like carbon fiber before when I had to put the piece of wood onto here I would have to be pushing all the whole entire weight But now the struts are doing the work for me and it feels so good it feels so good not to have to put my whole entire Force into moving the trunk up to put the piece of wood 
It's looking good, guys. It's looking good. I hate to say it, but I kind of miss the strut noise. It's getting dark pretty quick, and I haven't got that much done on the TC since I did go to go help my uncle paint the soccer field. It took up most of my day, so there's not that much that I could do. There is one thing that I do want to do that I want to start getting ready, and that is start pulling the seats off. Not both of them. I'm going to leave my seat on there because I am going to be going to my uncle. He, he texted me right now if I can go help him paint the last field tomorrow morning. So I still got to keep my seat in, but I'm going to might as well take out the passenger seat. But I do need to take both seats out so I can take out the center console because that, that's the piece I'm going to be carbon firing next. Since I already pretty much got all these done. Well, not completely done, but they're to the point where they're already wrapped. So I want to take that center console out in the middle and get started on that piece next. So for now, as far as I remember, the only way to remove the center console, I mean, you don't even need to take out the seats. Actually, you do. I remember I did take out the seats. So we do need to take out the seats to remove the center console hopefully i can do it by just removing the passenger seat and if we could pull out the center console today that'd be cool if not i'll probably be doing it tomorrow but i'll try and pull out these seats right now i have pulled out the center console before so it is a pain in the ass trust me it's a pain in the ass to take off i mean hopefully it's gonna be worth it at the end with it all being carbon fiber i do want to do the headliner as well carbon fiber um hopefully pretty soon i do need to order some more fabrics some more resin stuff like that um and as i mentioned to you guys today when i saw my uncle's uh van i it reminded me of the door cards um it's kind of flat there's not that much space for you to put your arm so i'm i might want to do an idea like that a door card of carbon fiber right here remove this handle right here the cubby down there and I just put like somewhere a flat sheet of carbon fiber and just put the the latch on the side and stuff like that so that'd be kind of cool to do um on the doors as well with carbon fiber so that might be something in the future pretty soon as well I mean, basically, we're gonna get the whole car filled with carbon fiber, all the interior pieces, um, everything that's black, of course. So now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I removed the seats in order to remove the center console. It was just a lot more difficult with the seats in, but I think I am still gonna be removing just the passenger seat. I don't think about the driver's side, um, just to make it a lot easier to remove. Cause I think from what I remember, it was pretty difficult getting it out, like angled out because of the seats being in between it. But I mean, it doesn't hurt to take out the seat. I mean, it's a simple, easy thing. There's just a bolt here. I think there's a bolt here, there, back here, and over there. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking about the wheels, what kind of wheels I'm gonna be running the width and the size, the offset and whatnot. I'm not gonna be releasing too much just yet. How the hell someone's riding the quad on the street? I'm not gonna be giving the offset or the size or what kind of wheels I'm gonna, well, I guess I'll show you guys the brand. That's the only sneak peek you guys are gonna get. I'm pretty sure if you guys are following me, have followed me on Instagram for the longest time, I had posted a wheel. It's not necessarily it's not necessarily that one, but it's around that those categories, you know? So I already deleted that post. So if you're gonna go back on my Instagram and try and look for that wheel post, you're not gonna see it. I already deleted it. So if you saw it when you saw it, good for you. But let me give you guys a quick sneak peek. That's all you get. That's all you guys get. It is gonna take some time to finish paying off these wheels, but I'm paying them as my check comes in. $100 every check. So hopefully we get it done, we get it paid off pretty soon. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping in the next four months, hopefully, hopefully guys, hopefully. But I mean, they've already been placed. Um, I've already gone to go look at them. Only Chris is the only person that knows about which wheels I'm gonna be getting. So don't even try hitting him up. He's not gonna be telling you guys. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be telling you guys. Chris, if you're watching this, you better not tell him. Um, and if you guys are not familiar with Chris, he has the first person to ever do the Rocket Bunny Gen 1 TC. Um, I'll leave his link in the description down below as well as right here if you guys want to check him out, um, see his build as well. So, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be going with, guys. That's what I'm going to be going with. So in order to remove your guys' seats, you're going to need a 14 mil to remove these four bolts.
So before you take out your seat, tilt it to the side. You'll see this wire on the bottom of your seat. You're gonna remove this white one and this black one. That way you can actually remove the whole entire seat itself. So I got the harness unplugged. Now I should be able to remove the seat. Bam. Damn, my freaking car is so dirty. It needs a full interior cleaning. Yeah, we're gonna get this cleaned out. Just so we don't lose the bolts, like I always tend to lose the bolts, we're gonna screw these back in. Just in case some of you guys are new to the channel and you guys haven't heard about what I have planned for the interior, um, of course, all carbon fiber, but from the gutting side of it, I do wanna have a roll cage put in here as well. We're gonna get it cut here from the carpet and gut everything towards, towards the back and leave it all painted white. Um, so from all here, all this would be all painted white. There's nothing that's gonna be there. So I'll have carpet from here to the front, no carpet from here to the back, no seats, no nothing like that. We'll have to find something to like cover the seats like so it doesn't look that ugly. I kinda wanna build like something with carbon fiber. Um, hopefully by then I'll be running bags as well. I mean, so much stuff, so much money that needs to be put into this car that I don't have money for it right now. There's only a few things that I can do here and there and hopefully build this car as the time progresses. But that's the plan for the interior for those of you that are kind of wondering or have wondered what I plan to do with the interior. That's basically the plan for now. We got the TC done as much as I wanted to get it done today. Uh, we got the seat out. Um, most likely, if we do need to take out the other seat, we'll probably take it out tomorrow. But we're done with that for now. But some of you guys have been asking me, how does the FRS lip fit on the TC? As many of you guys know, I ran the FRS lip. It's from the Rocket Bunny, the V1 Rocket Bunny kit. So I ran this lip on my car, but since I do have an RS3 lip on my bumper, it fit good, but it fit a little bit way too back. So it didn't look like that aggressive so the only reason i'm not putting this one this lip back onto that car is because it doesn't give it that aggressive look i'm looking for but with a stock bumper it actually does look aggressive like it actually sticks out a lot farther than what mine stuck out and it actually even sits flush right here on mine i had to push it up a little bit and it didn't sit flush right here but overall i mean look at the frs rocket bunny v1 lip on the tc with the stock body of course so if any of you guys are interested, it does fit onto a TC. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, if you're new to the channel, I am gonna be giving this lip away once we reach 5,000 subscribers. So when we reach 5,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving this lip away um, to one of you lucky ones. So in the end, the V1 Rocket Bunny splitter fits a lot better on the stock body TC than it does on the RS3 lip. So some of you guys have also asked to put the STI lip on a stock front bumper. And might as well, I put the FRS one there. Let's see how the STI one looks. So this is how the STI one fits. It sits a little bit back right there. Nothing that's not noticeable. Once it's drilled in, you won't even be able to tell. It's gonna look like it's sitting perfect. But this one does sit a little bit lower than the FRS one. Since that one is a splitter, this one is actually a lip. So this one is pretty aggressive as well. Um, this one on the front sticks out a little bit more. The Rocket Bunny V1 splitter kind of curves up in the middle. This one doesn't. This one comes out a little bit more. So as you guys can tell, the only thing you need to do is chop it off right here. Cut it right there on the end. That way it makes it look like it fits the car. But other than that, I mean this lip, I would think I would rather go with the STI lip than the FRS one. Because this one makes it look a little bit lower. And especially if you want to get that lip low. I mean, the STI lip is gonna make it look a lot lower. And I mean, it fits. So that's pretty crazy how you can buy like a different car brand lip and then you can make it fit. I mean, you can do a lot of modifications to make any lip fit, but I mean, just out of the box, out of the factory. This lip fits perfect on a stock TC front bumper. So hopefully this clears up a lot of questions for you guys. Um, I know the way that I learned was I had to purchase a lip and try to find out, see if it fits the car. I did ask a couple people of the STI lip, see if it would fit the RS3 bumper, and they told me it did, so that's the only one that I knew would fit on the TC. The NIA one that I'm gonna be running on my car, I knew it wasn't gonna fit, but I made it fit. The Rocket Bunny V1 splitter, I didn't know it was gonna fit. I just purchased it, hoping it would fit, and it kind of fit, it didn't fit perfect, but I sort of made it, made it look sort of, kind of, sort of, kind of good, but I mean, if you were to, if I were to choose between the FRS one and the STI one, I would definitely rock the STI one on a stock front bumper. Uh, it looks pretty good, and I mean, you're not going to be seeing that many ETCs 
with an STI lip. So I think that's where I'm gonna end today's video, guys. It's getting pretty late already, and I still gotta edit this video, and I gotta wake up early to go get, help my uncle paint the last field that we need to get done tomorrow. I'm kinda liking the whole vlogging thing the whole entire day. Um, let me know if you guys like it like that better, or if you guys prefer like a topic-based video. I, I personally like it like that. It's a lot easier. It keeps me busy all day long. Um, so I really like it. Let me know what you guys think, but that's what I'm gonna end today's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and embrace yourself